Hello everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in the second video of service costing chapter, we are going to solve our first simple problem, which is from the ICI study material itself, illustration two. But before going ahead with this video, please make sure you have watched the first video of this chapter, where we have discussed lots of things, isn't it? First, we discussed the concept of the chapter. I told you the most important industry over here is the transportation industry. Yes, but for CA intermediate students, you guys have to see lots of questions, right? So that you can also understand and solve the remaining industries. Okay, yes. So then we understood the difference between service costing and product costing. And then we discussed cost unit in complete detail. I told you there can be two types of units simple cost unit and composite cost units yeah this table we saw lots of example regarding cost unit and then i told you for the calculation of composite cost unit we have two different ways absolute basis and commercial basis in absolute we do what actual into actual in commercial what do we do actual into simple average of the weight in the trucking industry isn't it and then we solve this illustration one from the ICI study material just as a practical example to understand this calculation yes and then I told you we are starting the chapter from costing of transport services and specifically now passenger transport in the beginning right and then I told you the cost of you know the transport organization can be classified into three categories standing charges running charges and maintenance charges fixed cost variable cost and semi variable cost yes and then we also saw the format of the operating cost sheet i told you we have to do this to find out what the total cost yes what do we do with the total cost total cost divided by the total cost units if you're talking about a bus company a transportation company of passengers then the cost unit will be composite cost unit passenger kilometer so we have to divide it by total passenger kilometer we are going to get cost per passenger kilometer cost per unit isn't it then if you add the profit to that you will get the sales the revenue technically in this chapter we call that as gross takings you see that gross takings fine yes so that was the format of operating cost sheet and then some important points we discussed regarding uh, you know transportation industry and then i showed you the formulas right First, we'll calculate the kilometers traveled. Then we'll take the passenger element. We'll get what passenger kilometer, isn't it? Whatever answer we get, we'll take it over here and then we'll multiply with the passenger element. Total passenger capacity into capacity utilized. Yeah, so we'll get the passenger kilometer. Then what do we do? Cost per passenger kilometer, this calculation. This calculation can also happen directly in the cost sheet also. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, total cost divided by passenger kilometer. You have got what? cost per passenger kilometer the same way if you want to see that in the formula separately it's like this cost per passenger kilometer is equal to total cost for the period it can be of monthly basis or annual basis divided by the total passenger kilometer for the same period numerator and denominator should be on the same level right so you will get the cost per passenger kilometer that's the formula then we took this passenger transport example to understand everything how the calculation will happen I showed you how all this calculation will happen right so that was all for the first video now let's get back to the second video and let's solve this simple problem and then in coming videos we'll solve advanced problems okay let's get back. now see here we have the question let's just read this ICI study material illustration 2 AXA passenger transport company is running five buses between the two towns which are 40 kilometers apart the distance between these two towns is 40 kilometer seating capacity of each bus is 40 passengers all right let's just note all these down see here there are five buses in our company and the capacity of each bus is how much 40 seats yeah 40 passenger capacity is there and then they are saying there are two towns in which we run our bus service right and 40 kilometers is the distance between these two towns okay all right following details are available from their books for the month of april so this data which is given to us it is specifically of this month april fine okay monthly data is given then they are saying actual passengers carried were 75 percent of the seating capacity so out of 40 seats on average how much seats are occupied 
it is how much 40 into 0 0.75 that is equal to 30 seats on an average 30 seats are occupied fine okay all the five buses run on all days of the month so the bus service is operating on all days of the month in april how many days are there tell me in april you will say 30 days we all know that yeah so 30 days is the you know operating days is it clear okay then they are saying each bus made one round trip per day what does that mean one round trip round trip means going and coming back right that's what a round trip is one round trip per day they are saying so two trips per day okay two single trips isn't it yes so now what we have to do see they are asking you calculate cost per passenger kilometer calculate cost per passenger kilometer they are asking this cost per passenger kilometer how can you calculate this you need these two things total cost for the period now in this question it is directly given over here you see april data is given and this is the total cost no one like forty four thousand but you have to understand you have to make a proper presentation of the operating cost sheet and take all this in proper classification okay we'll do that but first what you will have to do first always calculate the denominator denominator is very important what is that total cost units total passenger kilometer for the period for the month of april that's what we have to calculate okay can we calculate that it's really simple how do we calculate first we will calculate kilometer traveled yes that's what we do so how many number of buses are there five buses are there so see here solution calculation of passenger kilometer directly we can't calculate this what we need to do first calculate kilometer travel see kilometer travel five buses are there what is the distance the distance is how much yeah what is the kilometer that's 40 kilometers yes and then you know round trip is happening over here so always into two always this is fixed into two yeah because we are going and coming back now that's why always you have to multiply by two and then how many round trip per day the question has said one round trip per day so into one is it clear yes and then for how many days it is happening for 30 days in a month in april we have 30 days no so 30 days in a month into 30 that's equal to 12,000 kilometer. Is it clear? 5 into 40 into 2 into 1 into 30. That is equal to 12,000 kilometer. This is the total distance traveled by all our five buses in the month of April. Is it clear? Simple. Then what we have to do? We have to add the passenger element. Then only we'll get the passenger kilometer. Right now we are just done with kilometer. We have to give the effect of passengers also. So what is the effect of passenger it's really simple what is the capacity of the bus 40 seats how much is this utilized on an average 75 percent just multiply passenger kilometer is equal to 12,000 you will take into 40 capacity into 75 percent is utilized on average you will get 360,000 as the passenger kilometer in the month of april total yeah see 12,000 into 40 seats are there but on an average only 75 percent is utilized so that is equal to 360,000 is it clear yeah simple so these are the total passenger kilometer now what you have to do now you just have to prepare the operating cost sheet to calculate the numerator properly total cost for the period okay and then in the cost sheet only we'll do this right let's just see the operating cost sheet now now see here we have operating cost sheet it's really simple you already know the format and everything if you have watched the first video see this is the format operating cost sheet you can call it or statement of cost yeah so here we have first particular column total cost column and then per passenger kilometer column which is nothing but cost per unit column okay now this total cost can be of month or of a year is it clear it is of the period that's what you have to understand now in this question what happened in this question we have all monthly data so cost per month is it clear okay and this is the cost per unit column now what do we do over here inside do we take direct material direct labor and calculate prime cost work cost and all no not like that here what we do fixed cost variable cost and semi variable cost isn't it if we see the transportation industry then we have standing charges running charges and maintenance charges these three categories we have yeah in the conceptual video i taught you this so we just add up all of that we get what total cost fine we get the total cost 
if we just divide that by passenger kilometer we will get the cost per passenger kilometer and the requirement of the question is over there is no profit there is no sales nothing in this question is it clear okay so now if we see the question again in that data see here in the month of april they have said salary of drivers cleaners and conductors tell me is this fixed cost variable cost or semi variable cost you will say it is fixed cost no matter whether the buses run or not we have to pay the salary to driver cleaner and conductors yes so where it will go standing charges is it clear simple this will be standing charges then salary to supervisor same salary means we have to pay it on monthly basis time basis right so again standing charges fixed cost diesel and other oil what about this do we always have to buy diesel and other oil no only if the buses run if the service is operating then only we have to buy the fuel right so this is what which kind of cost is this this is running charges yeah this is running charges fine if you run the bus then only we'll be incurring that cost then repairs and maintenance this is what maintenance charges okay semi variable fine and then tax and insurance does that matter whether our buses run or not no it doesn't matter so this is also fixed cost so standing charges right and then we have depreciation are they saying depreciation is related to operation or activity no so that means it's normal depreciation only normal way they are charging on the time basis yeah so it's a fixed cost only so this will be standing charges again and then interest what about interest interest also standing charges is it clear yeah you have taken a loan then you have to pay the interest on monthly basis it doesn't matter whether your service runs or not right so it's standing charges only is it clear so that's how you will be taking it see here really simple standing charges salary of driver cleaners and conductors first salary to supervisor yeah and then what else standing charges tax and insurance see 16000 and then what and then depreciation 26000 see here simple and then interest also how much is interest 20000 is it clear like this you have to take it's really simple nothing is there over here in this chapter okay you will just take cost properly in category basis fine 24 plus 10 plus 16 plus 26 plus 20 that is equal to 96000 this is what total standing charge fine what are you going to do about this see if the question asks then only you will do this you will divide it by what total passenger kilometer to show how much is the standing charge per passenger kilometer right so 96000 divide by what how much is our total passenger kilometer 360000 right so divide by 360 that is equal to how much 0.26667 right you can take it 0.267 yeah at least three decimals you have to show is it clear okay next running charges yeah in running charges what did we see only one item we have it's a simple question diesel and other oil 40000 directly it's given no calculation nothing in coming videos you will see how much calculation and all will do so that's advanced problems right now just to make you understand the concept and how it is done right so see diesel and other oil that is 40000 is it clear so that's only the one so total running charge will be 40000 only 40000 see here 40000 divide by total passenger kilometer that is equal to 0.11111 so we can take three decimals 0.11 yeah so that's the running charge per passenger kilometer is it clear okay after this what maintenance charges in maintenance charges also only one we have repairs and maintenance how much is that 8000 yeah so see here repairs and maintenance 8000 is it clear so total also 8000 8000 divide by 360 if we do we get what 0.02222 so we will take three decimal 0.0222 okay clear easy then what then what do you do here in this question they have not given us profit percentage so we can't take the profit or nothing about the sales also so we'll just calculate the cost because that's what they said na calculate cost per passenger kilometer fine so what's the total cost total cost is 96 Plus forty plus eight, A plus B plus C. That is equal to one lakh forty-four thousand. This is the total cost. Here also, see, it's given directly over here. It's a simple question actually. Okay, yeah. So one lakh forty-four thousand. Now what you have to do? You have got the total cost. Now understand. See, 
we have both the things now total cost for the period for the month of april is 144 and total passenger kilometer for the month of april is how much it is 360 so you have numerator denominator at the same level for the month for the month right so now you have to divide 144 divide by 360 fine that is equal to 0 0.4 yeah if you want to write in three decimal then 0 0.400 is it clear simple easy right so that's how it is fine so this is what is this this is cost per passenger kilometer now you have to understand the interpretation what is the meaning of this cost per passenger kilometer what you have calculated over here the meaning is really simple understand if you take one passenger one kilometer on your bus then this is the cost that you are incurring in your company do you understand this one passenger is there and you're taking him one kilometer then how much cost is being incurred this much cost is being incurred right if you add the profit percentage to this you will get what the fare the ticket price that you have to charge to the customer for taking him one kilometer only for taking him one kilometer only let's just say he wants to go 400 kilometer that fare which you have calculated per passenger kilometer that ticket price you have to multiply it with those kilometers specific kilometers you will get the whole ticket price that's the logic that's the interpretation is it clear it's useless if you just understand mechanically how to calculate and all it's useless if you don't have the interpretation right yeah so that's the thing this is how you have to do it is it clear simple and straightforward okay so just take a screenshot don't worry i will upload the notes on telegram channel yeah from there also you can download is it clear simple and straightforward so that was all for this video see you in the next video bye